View Score 4 came out, there were issues, there were problems. I know I heard it all based on my recent video, but new update. And the update is actually not that bad. I feel like a lot of the things have been fixed with the playback engine, with the whole Muse Hub and Muse Sounds integration with Muse Score 4. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my experience with the new update. I wrote a little composition and let's see how everything works together. Also, if you're new here, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. It would mean the world to me if you can hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. Cool, so let's open up a recent document that I uh, did and uh, I wrote this if Kang had a theme. The reason for this is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is coming out really, really soon. I figured, okay, well, I haven't heard an actual Kang the Conqueror theme, so let's see if I can just whip one up and see if it's any good. So, But please don't judge on the actual musicality of the piece. What we're trying to do is figure out what sort of sounds and the playback engine is working with the new update. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna hit rewind and make sure that all my bases are covered in terms of the the muse sounds. So one thing to keep in mind that muse sounds is not gonna be installed with Muse Score 4 right away if you're new to the whole Muse Score family. Um, you'll, you'll hit the mixer, but you'll go to MS Basic. You have to download Muse Hub, which is this little icon over here, Muse Score, and you get to download all these Muse sounds from Muse Score. So I have the keys, the percussion, uh, the brass, the strings. Um, I haven't downloaded the choir yet. I haven't really experimented with that yet, but let's dive right into this. So I have the, the brass section, trombone tuba, and then I also have the strings with violin, viola, cello, bass. So let's go ahead and play this little composition and see how it goes. actually new I don't know if you heard that but there's a little bit of white noise that's happening from the cello uh, I don't think I heard that previously maybe it's because I'm running a lot of other apps or softwares in addition to Muse score 4 I have no idea good let's try that one more time so I'm actually gonna start right on the cello theme and see if we can <laughs> you can tell that the tremolos sound really realistic. So right off the bat, the strings sound lively, they sound realistic, the articulation, I put in staccato markings or dots over the 16th notes so that way I can get a nice crisp articulation from the fast 16th notes. And it's sounding pretty darn good compared to the old Muse score basic sounds. And you know, a lot of trouble that we had in the first, you know, first release of Muse score four is that you know, you're dealing with a lot of instrumentation and sometimes the software crashes, sometimes the files get corrupted. I did have a couple of those files corrupted in the new update, so beware, you wanna make sure that you have a copy set aside. The way to do that is you simply go to file, you make save a copy, and it actually makes an exact replica of what you've been working on. So it's always good to save your work because MuseScore doesn't it doesn't uh, save right away. Like if the software crashes, then it goes to reopen and all that stuff. But it always, it's always good to play it safe and to have different, um, different copies lying around. So let's continue on over here. You know, 
you really couldn't hear that. Let's let's see if we can bring that up a little bit. And the way to do that is just to click the mixer, click the mixer, and then you go over to all the instruments. And for me, I'm gonna go a little bit higher on the trombones and a little bit higher on the tubas. Let's go one more time from right there. One thing that's really cool about MuseCore 4, if you haven't noticed this already, is the plugins that you can implement from other softwares. So you go to Mixer, you go all the way to the right, and then you can click on Reverb. You have all sorts of different Muse effects that you can really utilize. And in this case, I have the Reverb. I could always adjust the master setting for that, And but I'm not gonna mess with it right now. Um, I just wanted a little bit more ambiance in the, in the recording. So I'm gonna go ahead right from where we left off and see how the rest of this software plays out. So there you have it, Muse Score 4 in a full orchestral setting. And I didn't really mess with the, the woodwinds and whatnot, uh, but overall, because I'm a string player, I'm working just with strings and just a little bit of brass and a little bit of percussion. But it sounds darn good. It sounds really nice. And I'm glad that the new update, the 4.0.1 update, fixes a lot of the playback issues. Because in my experience, when I was working with Muse score. Sometimes I would play, then the file would be corrupted, and then it logs me out of the whole software. But I'm not getting that right now. This is, you know, I'm recording this as I'm making this video, and you know, I'm gonna command S to save whatever changes I make, and I go from there. And another fun little thing, I you're probably wondering, what does the piano sound like? Well, I have composed a tiny little snippet of that, and. I'm gonna go ahead to maybe open up one of those files. I'm gonna go open recent, and this is just a, just like a tiny little tune that I created. And this is with the piano setting. So in this in this little um, segment, I have muse sounds, I have muse keys, and you have all sorts of different options for uh, pianos. So suitcase piano, upright piano, uh, grand piano. I just put grand piano, and let's. Take a look at how it is. Still a work in progress, of course, and this is written for a student to kind of, you know, help them gain more confidence on stage. And the, the piano sounds really nice. I would say when you play, when you work with solo violin in this setting with the muse score muse hub sounds you know you get a little bit of the gliss which is kind of unusual i wish that maybe they can fix that in an upcoming update you know like let's just have the violin play yeah like right there it's like da, ya, da, ya. it's kind of like this glissando uh, this glissando sound that I'm not really a fan of. I just wish that they can maybe incorporate that in a future update. Maybe that's a coding thing or like an AI thing. So there you have it. Yeah, MuseScore 4 update. It's good. It's really uh, a good update that everybody was, uh, was wanting. And let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Is this uh, a worthy update? Have you been experiencing any trouble? Let's have this conversation in the comments section. Thanks so much, and I will see you in the next upcoming video.